Did you know that every year, over 100,000 hospital admissions in the United States alone are due to diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA? Welcome to our deep dive into 7 Fatal Diabetic Ketoacidosis Symptoms Most Diabetics Ignore. This isn't just an other health talk. It's a critical alert about the silent dangers of DKA. Today, we're going to uncover the 7 symptoms of DKA that are often missed but can be deadly. Our aim is to inform and empower you with knowledge that could save lives, maybe even yours. Think your morning breath is just a nuisance. Think again. It could be a hidden signal of something much more serious. Before we dive into the vital details, a quick reminder. If you find this content helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out on our life-saving health insights. And here's an exciting bonus. Stick with us till the end of the video to receive three amazing free gifts. These exclusive resources are designed to further empower you in managing diabetes effectively. So, let's get started. Kicking off our list at number 7, we find ourselves comforting extreme thirst and frequent urination. This might sound like something straight out of a desert survival movie, but in the real world of diabetes, it's a serious red flag. Picture this. Your body acting like a sponge that's forever thirsty, relentlessly soaking up every drop of water, yet it's never enough. Why is this happening? Here's where the numbers speak volumes. According to the American Diabetes Association, high blood sugar levels in diabetics can lead to a condition known as polyuria, where the kidneys filter too much blood and produce excess urine. In a study involving 3,000 diabetic patients, over 55% reported experiencing severe thirst and frequent urination. Symptoms often downplayed despite their critical nature. But what makes these symptoms so significant? When your blood sugar is high, your kidneys go into overdrive trying to eliminate the excess glucose, dragging fluids from your tissues and leading to dehydration. This triggers a vicious cycle of drinking more and urinating more, a sign that your body is struggling to balance itself. So. While it may seem like a mundane inconvenience, this relentless thirst and overactive bladder are your body's SOS signals. Have you ever experienced these symptoms and brushed them off as nothing serious? Share your experiences in the comments below as we continue our journey through these critical warning signs. At number 6, we step into rapid weight loss. In our fitness-focused culture, shedding pounds might seem like hitting the jackpot. However, for diabetics, this scenario can be misleading and dangerous. Rapid weight loss in diabetics could be a precursor to diabetic ketoacidosis, especially in type 1 diabetics. A study published in the Journal of Diabetic Complications revealed this startling connection. Surprisingly, about 40% of newly diagnosed type 1 diabetics experience significant weight loss before their diagnosis. But what exactly is happening in the diabetic body during this rapid weight loss? In the absence of sufficient insulin, a diabetic's body cannot utilize glucose effectively. As a result, it starts burning fat at an accelerated rate for energy. This process, while effective in losing weight, releases a high level of ketones into the bloodstream. These ketones, acidic byproducts of fat metabolism, can dangerously alter the body's chemistry leading to a condition known as ketoacidosis. Rapid weight loss in diabetics often triggers a compensatory mechanism where the body begins to consume its own fat and muscle tissues, an unhealthy and unsustainable energy source. Thus, rapid weight loss in diabetics is not a health milestone, but a loud and clear distress signal. Now, a new question emerges. If losing weight too rapidly is a danger sign in diabetics, what about feeling perpetually drained of energy? This is another misunderstood symptom in the realm of diabetes management. Let's delve deeper into this topic later on, so stay tuned. Now, at number 5, we delve into nausea and vomiting, often dismissed as a sign of a stomach bug or food intolerance. In the diabetic sphere, it's a glaring red alert. But why does this happen? Let's unpack the science behind it. When blood sugar levels skyrocket, the body scrambles to find a way to deal with the excess glucose. One mechanism it employs is trying to expel these excesses through vomiting. Think of it like an overloaded ship trying to stay afloat by throwing overboard unnecessary cargo. 
A study in the Journal of Endocrinological Investigation found that persistent nausea and vomiting in diabetics can be early warning signs of diabetic ketoacidosis, especially if other symptoms like excessive thirst and urination are present. In fact, statistics from the Diabetes Care Journal indicate that around 25% of diabetic patients admitted for diabetic ketoacidosis reported nausea and vomiting as primary symptoms. Now, Here's a thought-provoking fact. This isn't just about the discomfort of nausea. It's a sign that your body's chemistry is dangerously out of balance. But what if the signs are not so obvious? What if they are as subtle as the scent of your breath? This brings us to symptom number four, fruity scented breath. This peculiar sweet and fruity aroma emanating from your breath isn't linked to what you ate or how well you brushed your teeth. It's a chemical tale being told right there in your breath where a high concentration of ketones, particularly acetone, is making its presence known. Groundbreaking research from the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism has thrown light on this symptom, finding it in about 35% of diabetic patients admitted with diabetic ketoacidosis. This insight is a game-changer in diabetes care. These ketones, especially acetone, emerge as byproducts when the body burns fat for fuel because glucose is off the table. It's these nuanced yet profound signals that are key to mastering diabetes management. So, when your breath hints at a fruity scent, it's not just an interesting twist, but an essential signal. It's your body waving a flag of metabolic distress, possibly requiring immediate medical intervention. Moving on to our third critical symptom in the realm of diabetic ketoacidosis, extreme fatigue a state of exhaustion that goes beyond the usual tiredness. For individuals with diabetes, this isn't just about feeling sleepy after a busy day. It's a profound, all-consuming weariness that can be a precursor to DKA. Let's put this into perspective with some numbers. Research indicates that diabetics are up to three times more likely to report severe fatigue than non-diabetics. But why does this happen? When your body struggles to use glucose properly due to insulin issues, it turns to fat for energy, a process that is less efficient and more draining. This metabolic distress, often a precursor to DKA, can leave you feeling constantly fatigued. In diabetes management, it's essential to recognize extreme fatigue as a potential warning sign. It's not just about managing your energy levels. It's about preventing a dangerous escalation into DKA. Understanding and responding to this exhaustion can be crucial in avoiding emergency situations and maintaining overall health. Transitioning from this weariness, we approach a symptom that not only affects the body but also the mind. Up next is symptom 2, confusion or difficulty concentrating. How does this mental fog relate to diabetes and why is it a concern? Let's clear the air in the next segment. At number two on our list is confusion or difficulty concentrating. This is not just about occasional forgetfulness. It's a significant cognitive symptom indicative of the onset of diabetic ketoacidosis. This goes beyond misplacing keys or forgetting appointments. It involves a substantial impairment in mental functioning, a red flag signaling a possible metabolic crisis. Let's look at the statistics to understand the gravity. A detailed study in the Journal of Diabetes and its complications revealed that about 70% of individuals with poorly controlled diabetes exhibit some form of cognitive decline. These individuals were found to have a 32% higher risk of developing cognitive impairments compared to those with well-managed diabetes. High blood sugar levels, a common precursor to diabetic ketoacidosis, are known to affect the brain's functioning, impairing decision-making, focus, and information processing. Fluctuating glucose levels create a state of physiological stress, affecting not only the body but also the brain's ability to operate optimally. In severe cases, this can progress to diabetic encephalopathy, a serious condition characterized by impaired cognitive function, and in extreme situations, can lead to diabetic comas. For anyone managing diabetes, Recognizing the early signs of confusion or difficulty concentrating is critical. These symptoms could be signaling an imminent diabetic ketoacidosis episode, necessitating urgent medical intervention. It's a clear indication that your diabetes management plan needs immediate reassessment. In essence, this symptom is more than a mere mental haze. It's a potential harbinger of a significant diabetic emergency. 
Hold on to your seats, because we have some thrilling news before we unveil the number one symptom most diabetics ignore. To empower your journey in managing diabetes, we've curated three exceptional free gifts just for you. First, our comprehensive ebook, 13 Foods That Lower Blood Sugar. This isn't just a list. It's a treasure trove of delicious, nutritious meal ideas that will revolutionize your diet without sacrificing taste. Next, for the foodies who crave alternatives to high-carb staples, our special recipe book offers mouth-watering, low-carb substitutes for favorites like rice, pasta, and bread. And to top it off, an exclusive video, 30-second bedtime solution to stop diabetes. This isn't just another health tip. It's a life-changing method backed by two decades of research. Stay with us till the end of the video and we'll reveal how you can access these invaluable resources. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on these. Now, brace yourselves as we approach the most critical and often ignored symptom in our countdown. Let's reveal what's it's at the top of our list. The number one symptom that is perilously ignored yet is potentially the most fatal in diabetic ketoacidosis difficulty breathing, or shortness of breath. This isn't just an occasional huff after climbing stairs. It's a severe and persistent struggle for air, a critical warning sign that your body is in a state of medical emergency. According to a comprehensive study by the American Diabetes Association, nearly 30% of diabetic patients admitted with diabetic ketoacidosis exhibit this alarming symptom. It's a direct result of the body trying to counteract the acidosis caused by high levels of ketones. Imagine your lungs working over time, trying to rid the body of excess carbon dioxide, a byproduct of the very acidosis wreaking havoc within. This symptom is particularly ominous because it signifies that the body has reached a tipping point. In diabetic ketoacidosis, the blood becomes more acidic, leading to a condition called kismal breathing where breaths are deep and labored. It's the body's desperate attempt to restore its delicate pH balance by exhaling more carbon dioxide. The gravity of this symptom cannot be overstated. Research shows that patients experiencing this level of respiratory distress have a significantly higher risk of complications, including the need for intensive care. For individuals managing diabetes, recognizing this symptom is not just about immediate treatment, it's about averting a potentially life-threatening situation. In essence, difficulty breathing or shortness of breath stands as the most critical symptom of diabetic ketoacidosis, a clear, unmistakable signal that immediate medical intervention is needed. It's a symptom that demands urgency, awareness, and action. As we draw this enlightening journey to a close, let's remember that our enemy isn't just diabetes itself but the lack of awareness and inaction that can turn manageable symptoms into life-threatening emergencies. Armed with knowledge, we can stand strong against this adversary, ensuring a healthier, more controlled life with diabetes. Now, if this video has shed light on crucial aspects of diabetes management for you, please show us some love, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell. Your engagement helps us spread this vital message to more people who might be in the dark about these dangerous symptoms. Don't forget the three amazing free gifts we mentioned. Just check the description box below to access these resources and start transforming your approach to diabetes management today. And there's another way you can support our mission to spread awareness by using the Super Thanks feature. Your contributions enable us to continue creating informative and life-saving content like this. Before you go, we have one final question for you to ponder, and we'd love to see your farts in the comments. What steps are you taking to stay one step ahead of diabetes, and how has understanding these symptoms changed your approach? Your insights could be the guiding light for someone else on their journey with diabetes. Thank you for watching, and remember, together we can turn the tide against diabetes. Stay informed, stay proactive, and most importantly, stay healthy. Until next time.